Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got Stars and Stripes Buzz. This particular one was imported. I did get this from the States. So this isn't a UK toy, it never has been. Those of you that are across the pond are actually in the States. You're gonna be more used to this. No doubt you're seeing it at yard sales and stuff like that. It is an older toy. So it is very much based on the original Buzz Lightyear Thinkway casting that they had. So they've evolved quite heavily from then. Everything's a little bit clunky on this toy. So even though it is a Thinkway toy, you're gonna to see screws everywhere. They've concealed those a lot better in the newer toys. Likewise, the dome isn't the best, whereas the newer ones have more of a sort of a lock in place as they come up and down. It's still nice, it's still good for any collection. The wings on this do burst outwards though, so sort of that nine to three, they fire out in a very clunky motion. And if you're used to the other toys, you'll know that these wings are hard to get back in. You, as you click one in, it fires the other one out or it doesn't quite bite, but when it's there, it's there. The collection buzzes are a lot nicer. They do lock in better and the wingspan's a little bit more, but it doesn't detract from the overall part of the toy. Sadly, this one in particular is missing the, the light year badge on the chest. Um, I replaced that at some point, but I'd say overall, it's quite cool. The dexterity overall isn't as good as the newer toys. As I say, this shares that sort of older casting. So you've only got the sort of almost the index finger that moves um, independent to the rest of the hand. So the thumb's locked in place, the whole finger assembly does move, but it's actually only the index finger that actually moves independent to the rest of the hand. They are quite hard to stand up. So again, like those very much, the, those older toys, they will, you've got to sort of balance them around a little bit to try and get them back where they should be. There's no articulation on the, the waist. Although it looks quite cool, it's not the most functional of toys and his sayings aren't great. I think they're very much reused. Now these do go in the UK for about a hundred pounds each. So it is an expensive toy in the UK. I mean, if you're in the States, I can't imagine they're gonna go for as much. So this might be brilliant for a collector over there, but certainly if you're over here, think about it before you decide. If you're new to the channel and you're liking what you're seeing, please take the time to like and subscribe.